don't make the same mistakes I did when I went vegan. Let me show you the best way to lose weight on a vegan diet right now. Hi, I'm Kenny Loy. I've been a certified nutritionist since 1999 and a high raw vegan since 1994. You're in the right place if you're looking for healthy tips and recipes to get you to your best health yet. Please hit that subscription button and that notification bell so you don't miss any future tips and recipes. The story of my 40 pound vegan weight loss transformation will show you how to go vegan cold turkey and stop eating meat and dairy once and for all. I lost over 40 pounds on a vegan diet twice. I don't want you to make the same mistakes I did, so let me take you through part of my journey and show you the trial and error I went through. Mostly error. Now the first time, I didn't even count calories. I made lots of mistakes, but I still lost 40 pounds in less than four months. The second time was more deliberate and precise. I even counted calories from food intake and subtracted calories from exercise. I still lost over 40 pounds in less than four months. Which way is best? Don't forget to download our free five day meal plan in the description below. In July 94, I was suffering from high cholesterol, kidney stones, asthma, eczema, and all kinds of ailments. My weight was continually increasing and I saw no end to this trend in poor health. I wanted to be around to see my daughters grow up, so I searched for the healthiest lifestyle that I could sustain over my lifetime. I was also heavily into self-improvement, so I was a big fan of Tony Robbins. Believe it or not, he was a vegan back then. I listened to his Living Health series on cassette and bought a book he recommended by Harvey and Marilyn Diamond called Fit for Life. This information influenced me to try a vegan diet. It also inspired me to become a certified nutritionist in 1999 when I launched my website and wrote my first book. Many other vegan authors influenced me through the years as well. Since there weren't a lot of health food stores around in the mid-1990s, I embraced raw fruits, vegetables, salads, whole foods, completely eliminating processed foods and animal-based products. My diet was about 90% raw, so I ate lots and lots of produce. The few health food stores that I could find locally had healthier bread and brown rice and rice-based non-dairy ice cream. Those were a small part of my diet though. Within four months without counting any calories, 40 pounds melted off my body and all of my ailments disappeared. And I didn't even do it perfectly. I made tons of mistakes. It was in this time frame that I discovered my food allergy to corn and anything derived from it. I've been allergic to dairy since birth, so it was a non-existent part of my life already. Eventually, I developed a sensitivity to wheat and gluten. I didn't know the true story as to why yet, but I learned later that glyphosate and genetically modified organisms had caused this new allergy. Now, since 1994, I have always maintained a vegan diet, anywhere from 50 to 100% raw. And I've always felt better the more raw I go. If you're getting value from this video, please hit the like button now. It would really help us out a lot. I maintained a healthy weight for many years, but life smacked me around a few times with the death of my parents and my divorce. By this time, health food stores were popping up everywhere and offering all kinds of vegan, healthy junk food. So I reached to this for comfort and started gaining weight over the years. Although I became happily married to my soulmate, Joanne, in 2010, I continued to gain weight because her cooking was incredible and I didn't maintain my discipline. I loved to be her official taste tester when she tried out new allergy-friendly vegan recipes to give me more options. She made it a point to supply me with healthy comfort foods and I willingly ate large portions of it. But then I saw myself in a picture and I couldn't believe the change. I made a goal at the beginning of 2016 to lose 40 pounds again, so I searched for food diary apps for my smartphone. I ended up with MyFitnessPal. When I began tracking my food, I was completely shocked at how many calories I was consuming every day. No wonder I had gained weight. So I lowered my calories and began to walk each day. Have you ever tried a vegan diet? Let us know in the comments below what you thought. The simple act of eating until I was satisfied and reducing my portions caused a 20 pound weight loss in the first month. I lost another 10 pounds the next month, five the next, and another five the next. And since then I have maintained that weight loss. Obviously anyone can gain weight on a vegan diet, even a raw one. I tend to eat more fresh raw foods than gourmet raw foods. Gourmet raw foods contain lots of nuts and seeds and avocados, which can sabotage your weight loss. Don't get me wrong, but those are all healthy foods. They just need to be limited. So if done properly, a vegan diet has many health benefits. So between the two methods, it is definitely less complicated to ignore calories. So you can get away with ignoring those calories if you're eating mostly raw fruits and vegetables and limiting your nut seeds, oils, and avocados. Cooked food should also be limited, especially vegan junk food. Totally eliminate processed foods and animal products. 
This will cause you to lose weight and eliminate many health problems like it did for me the first time. If that doesn't really work for you, then counting calories isn't a bad option. It really does work. Smartphone apps really help with this greatly. They allow you to scan products and access their giant database of foods. I started with my fitness pal and it works great if you eat a lot of box foods, but chronometer is more accurate for produce. Since I'm now 95 to 100% raw, I eat a whole lot more produce than I ever have. So chronometer is better at tracking nutrients. Smartphone apps can also estimate how many calories you burn with exercise so you don't have to wear a smart watch or a pedometer. Even if you'd rather not track calories long term, this could be a good temporary option to get a feel for what you're eating and what may be sabotaging your weight loss. So try the method that works best for your personality. You could even combine the two options by counting calories until you've reached your goal and have maintained it for a few months. Watch the scale and start counting calories again if your weight begins to climb. The main ingredient for success either way is to eat lots and lots of raw organic fruits and vegetables. Our recipes will help you do this in a fun, delicious, and economical way. I'll put a link to our recipes in the description below. Remember, you can still have your comfort foods, but in a healthy way. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And watch these videos around me to get more healthy tips and recipes. Thanks for watching.